Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. So today I'm going to be doing my Beauty Fix unboxing and today is going to mark the first day of my week of the sub boxes or sub box week. I still haven't come up with a for sure name for it yet, but I am going to start doing a sub box every single day for an entire week and this is the first week of it. So I hope that you like this series. I don't know if it's really a series, but I just figured doing it this way would allow me to get more different types of videos up that I want to do, but also still do all of my sub boxes for those of you that enjoy watching those kind of videos. So I didn't look at spoilers this month and I'm kind of wishing that I did because had I looked at spoilers before they charged my bank account, I probably would have canceled. Uh, that might sound kind of harsh, but I it's true. I would have canceled Beauty Fix if I would have known that this was going to be the box. So just a forewarning to you guys. This is not like a, ooh, I'm so excited unboxing. This is more of a, meh, I don't like this box. Like I said, I didn't see spoilers for this, but when I got this in the mail, I did open it up and go ahead and look at it. And I was very underwhelmed to say the least. I'm gonna try to keep it positive. I always try to see like the best in every situation. So let's just, get on into the box. So when you open the box, this is what it looks like. It comes with a card that tells you everything that you're getting. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. The first thing I see is this from Karenique, the women's hair growth experts. This is daily essentials for healthy looking hair. So it's a dietary supplement. And inside you get seven little packets of like pills. They are see-through pills with um, like powder inside of the pill and I guess these are supposed to help your hair grow faster. Um, I don't really take stuff like this. My hair is already long and I mean it doesn't really grow like super fast but it is pretty healthy and I just I wonder if these have biotin in them. They probably do. If they're helping the hair grow I am pretty sure they have biotin in them. It says, when it comes to nourishing strong, healthy hair, it's best to start from the inside out. These supplements are specially formulated with a scientific blend of vitamins A and B, amino acids, superfood, biotin, and more to promote hair growth. I don't usually take anything with biotin in it because a biotin does make me break out. So I'm probably not going to be using these. Not excited about that. Um, the next thing I see is this from Juice Beauty. I have seen some of the unboxings for this box and I always cringe when people like untwist the cap to go smell it because this smells disgusting, you guys. I don't even know like what this smells like, but it has something in it that smells disgusting. It says it's formulated with organic ingredients. Maybe it's just like a bunch of stuff that's good for your skin that makes it smell bad. I don't know. So um, yeah, I'm not going to be using this. The next thing in the box is this from Dermatologic Cosmetic Laboratories and this is a two pack. Um, you get this one which is the DCL Skin Renewal Complex. It's a 5-in-1 refining hydrator. And then you also get this other little sample and it is the Hydra Boost Finishing Serum. It transforms with hyaluronic acid. So basically you're getting a moisturizer and a serum. And these are really little. I don't, I mean, I do like trying out samples, but it's really hard, especially with like serums and moisturizers, to know like how your skins are gonna really react to them and how they're gonna perform when you get such small sample sizes, but I'll try them out. All right, next thing in the box is this, in this little cardboard box. And this is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. And I already have this. I got this in a different subscription box and I actually don't like this powder. Um, I've tried using it as an all over powder. And also I tried using it as an under eye powder and that didn't, I mean, it didn't really help with creasing or anything. So I'm just, I'm not impressed with that powder. Next thing in the box is this. And this is the MD Solar Sciences Mineral Tinted Cream it's broad spectrum SPF 30 UVA UVB sunscreen and I already have this. I got this I think in a Sephora sunscreen kit. I want to say I already have this and I haven't tried it out yet but I mean I guess I have another one now. I'm not upset about this one. I think this and the little um, moisturizer and serums are probably the most exciting things in the box honestly and they're all very small samples. 
but I'm, I'm not mad about this. I always like getting new sunscreen, so I like that. And the next thing in the box is this. This is the Paracone MD Superberry with a K, a K. I'm not sure how to say that word. It's A-C-A-I. And it is a dietary supplement powder. And I don't use stuff like this. I mean, I might try this out. I just, I don't know. Maybe if it tastes like actual like fruit, like berries and doesn't taste horrible, I'll drink it. But I don't know. I just don't see the point when you only have one. Like what's it going to do to my body to just try one? I don't know. I don't, I don't use these kind of things. I don't buy these kind of things. So meh. All right. And the last thing in the box is, I guess, the big ticket item for the box. This is the Foreo Luna Play. It's the mini one. This is a tiny but mighty T-Sonic facial cleansing device. It is deep yet gentle cleansing, lasts for 100 uses, ultra hygienic silicone, and non-rechargeable. And I did already like look up the specifications of this, and because of the fact that this is not rechargeable and it also does not have replaceable batteries, like you can't take the batteries out and put new ones in when it dies, you have to throw this away. I just think that's so wasteful for the environment. Like there's gonna be thousands and thousands of these in the landfills because when they die, like you can't reuse them. Even if they couldn't make it rechargeable because of it being like waterproof purposes, I don't know. Um, they could have at least figured out how to seal in like a place to put batteries or something. I don't know. I mean, I might try this out and use it or I might re-gift it to someone that might like it better than me. I don't know. But that is it for this box, guys. I'm sorry if I seem like a Debbie Downer in this video. I usually am really excited about my subscription boxes, but this one just was a was a fail for me. Um, I was really on a high um, from last month's Beauty Fix because I thought it was such a great box. That's what got me to sign up for the subscription in the first place. I, like, I feel like I have a good amount of subscription boxes to where I don't really need to add any more unless one really sucks me in. And last month's Beauty Fix really got me to where I felt like I needed it. And now getting this one, I'm kind of just like, dang, I should have canceled after last month. But I'll give them like another month or two. And if I keep getting boxes like this, I may need to cancel. But hopefully they'll get back on track again because there's people that have been with them for months and months or even years and love them and say their boxes are usually always good. And this was just like a fluke. So I hope that's the case because I just really am not feeling this box. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye.